BBL, right? BBL, just like Rachel Ray, EVOO, extra virgin olive oil, BBL, bad body language. And a lot of times this seat can be a difficult one and there's some delicate issues at times. And the one thing that Mike and I really try to avoid in our show is to try to pretend to know what an athlete's thinking. Oh, he doesn't care. He's quit on this team. He doesn't care as much as I do as a fan. And we take your calls and we listen to that. Mike and I try to really fight that because ultimately we don't know what's going on between the ears. Now, what we can know and what we can judge is BBL, Pete Carroll, bad body language. And unfortunately, in my opinion, Sean Figgins carries that around with him. Casey Kotschman did a year ago. I know it's a different game. I know they play 162 of them, and it's day in and it's day out and it's monotonous. I also know the training camp is monotonous. The 30 days in a row and two weeks of practice and two a days and the same schedule and the same routine. In the NFL, every Tuesday and Wednesday and Thursday and Friday are the same. And it gets old and that routine gets old as well. But that's why Pete Carroll focuses, and I think rightfully so, so much on your presentation, on your body language. How do your teammates view you? How do the fans view you? How do your peers view you? And for me, right now, watching Sean Figgins go out there and not only just struggle production-wise, the body language that he presents is a challenge for me. It's a challenge for many of you, and it's something for all of us to keep an eye on.